Now, how far should you place these? You know, it's kind of up to you. Or if you've got any questions, you can talk to uh, a salesman at the hardware store to find out. But this, we came up with this design just straight down here because the kitchen is fairly small and we're just gonna sneak them right on down the middle. And I have not used can eyeballs yet of the LED style. Now these LEDs, we're gonna, we're gonna use a can for the light. Here's the light. And this just screws right into the fitting in the can light. And this is an LED style light fixture. It came out of this box right here. And see, over here, it says 75 watt. Well, this, it only uses 13 watts. And it's an LED. LED. That's what they're all starting to go with. If you got a, if you got uh, an option of going LED or CFL's, CFL's compact fluorescent lamp or light, okay? The CFL's um, are cheaper than an LED, but the LEDs, are now being available at your hardware store. Look at those, they cost a little bit more, but they last so much longer and, and they're not as hot and they save you money. That's what you need to know. The first time you install it, it costs you a little bit more, but it saves you money in the long run, okay? So we determined we kind of have a pattern like this and we, had, we made that determination up here um, we know there's a ceiling joist right there next to that opening and we know there's another one over here because we put sheetrock backing up there remember there's another ceiling joist there you measure between those and that's 16 inches every 16 inches along this ceiling there's another one and I crawled up I also crawled up in the attic and I looked that way too every 16 inches okay so I know where the ceiling joists are and obviously we can't put one of these lights in where a ceiling joist is okay so there's a little bit of thought process on this and here's the can that i'm going to install see that that's it very lightweight and this is called a cut-in application if you have existing sheetrock ceilings and you want to put one of these in, you cut the hole, you slip this up through the hole. Well, I'll show you how to do all this, okay? And then you, you push it up and see it's slick. These, these little side things, you push back inside the can like that. And after you push it up through the hole, you take this and you just push on it. And it goes back and it goes right over the back side of the sheetrock. There's a little lip around this that holds it up tight to the sheetrock you push that down you push on it kind of hard and it stays in it pretty much stays in place because you can't push straight up on it okay that's how that works and see there's four of them this one came out but i have it here's another one here's another one so there's four of those so that's how those are going to work so so i've got to I've got to transfer all my marks up here exactly where they go, cut the holes, make sure there's nothing in its way and all that, okay? Enough of that for now. The next step is I've got to disconnect this junction box and these light fixtures, okay? So first off, I'm going to turn the light switch back off.